Investors and advisors have always been told, don't mix politics with your investing. We completely agree. It's not about your own personal political beliefs. It's about really positioning your portfolio for policy catalysts. So a lot of things move the stock market on day to day, but if you drill down to a specific company, there are a subset that really are driven by policy. And so that's really what we're looking at is policy factors, fiscal trade and regulation that are going to change companies' fundamentals. There have been some controversies in the current administration and people are asking how could that impact the Republican policies portfolio. You know, this is not a Twitter-based strategy. We're not trading it based on, you know, the day-to-day -day back and forth, but we're trying to look through that politics and we're looking at the policy. The Dems fund and the GOP fund are not inverse of one another, they're not mirror images of one another. They're really investing in their own specific party policy drivers for each. So GOP is invested in defense, deregulation, infrastructure, energy, tax reform. Dems is invested in social good, uh, environmentally conscious, healthcare companies as large as with also some finance reform and educational access in there. A common misconception that we hear is, are these funds aligned with political donations? So do the companies the Republican Policies Fund donate to the Republican Party? And no, that's not the case. These are companies that are gonna be most impacted by said party's policies. Just because the legislation has passed doesn't mean that the impact has ended. So you look at tax reform, for example. This just passed back in December, but it's going to be rolling through these companies' earnings for multiple years to come. If you look at Obamacare, Obamacare had implications on healthcare stocks. Even through today, it still having implications. It drove hospital stock outperformance. It drove a lot of the healthcare IT providers' outperformance for nearly a decade now. We approach the market with a very long-term view. We think policy offers a long-term leading indicator for changes to companies and industries. So our goal is to try to identify those changes, those potential changes that are coming before most investors or even sometimes management teams identify those changes.